This mod was PlayStation DualShock model SCPH9001, 1999 edition. Uh, for this mod, we wanted to keep the the case of this looking uh, as stock as possible. The only real modification you can see the CD-ROM laser has been removed, and we added uh, a case fan. The Backside, we added an Ethernet port, uh, removed the serial port, added a USB out. Uh, the AV uh, plug was changed to an HDMI and then also changed the AC in adapter. That's the, the shell of this thing. Let's get it open and show you what's on the inside of it. All right, we've got an Acer AOD270 motherboard inside of this thing. Uh, it's running Intel Atom Dual Core 1.6, 4 gig DDR3, uh, 320 Western Digital that has the OS and the music library, a one terabyte Western Digital holding the PlayStation games, uh, extended uh, Ethernet out the back so that we can do wake on land it has it has Wi-Fi but uh, we wanted wake on land as well which wasn't working over the Wi-Fi extended HDMI port out of the back uh, it's running off of 19 volt uh, wall work which we just kind of uh, wired through to the back side uh, we also added a Bluetooth dongle so that you can run this off of your PlayStation 3 controllers. Um, what else did we add on this thing? We got a four point uh, USB hub, one port out the back side for accessories. The CD ROM drive is wired to the reset button. Uh, that kind of adds a little bit more airflow through it. Heat was a problem. We did a 40 millimeter uh, slimline fan modified to fit inside the CD-ROM case. We also added a Wii fan uh, to kind of circulate the air over to the stock fan which is kind of hidden up underneath. It wasn't getting the, uh, the airflow that it needed. Um, change the LED, uh, power LED to red and that's about it on the inside of this thing. It's pretty straightforward mod. We'll get it all back together and show you the software portion of this.